Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, today's video, we're going to be doing the flea problem, which is described as such. If a flea can jump 0.44 meters up, what is its initial velocity? How long is it in the air? So it turns out this is going to be a perfect problem that demonstrates just why I say that we only need the short and the long kinematics equations. Some textbooks and some professors will choose to give you all four. There are four of them, but I was only ever taught two of them. And so we're going to be using the short and the long equation. I'm going to show you how just a simple substitution allows you to totally ignore the other two kinematics equations. That way, you can memorize less, and in my opinion, it makes problems easier to deal with because you've only got two equations to work with. So let's do it. So first off, we're going to draw a picture. Here we've got our flea here at the bottom, and we know that it's going to jump upwards and hit a peak height of 0 0.440 meters, and it's going to come back down all the way to the ground. Okay, and we know that the velocity at this point, the velocity here, is going to be zero because it's going to momentarily stop before it comes back down. All right, so let's write out what we know. We know that the initial point that the flea is at is here at zero, ground, so zero. We know that the final position is how high he can jump, which is 0 0.440 meters. We don't know how fast he has to jump initially to get to that point. So we're going to give that question mark. But we do know that the final velocity is going to be zero because that's here at the top when it stopped. So we do know that is zero meters per second. We know the acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. And we don't know how long it takes for him to get to the top. But just with the information that they've given us, we are able to solve this. So let's get right into it using the long equation first. So we've got y minus initial y is equal to vy naught times time plus one half a y t squared. So we know that the initial point is zero. We don't know the initial velocity. We do know acceleration due to gravity. That's negative 9.81. And that is all we know. So we've got, oh, and we do know final y. Final y is that height that it can jump, 0 0.440 meters. So we've got 0 0.440 is equal to vy naught times time minus 4.905 t squared. Now we've got an unknown value here, and we've got an unknown time, so we're going to need to move on to our short equation so we can substitute something so we can solve for one of the variables. So let's go to the short equation. We've got final velocity minus initial is equal to acceleration times time, which is negative 9.81 t. Perfect, but we do know that the final velocity at the top when it has reached the point of 0 0.44 meters is zero, but we don't know the initial velocity. So we've got negative vy naught is equal to negative 9.81t. These negatives cancel and turn into a positive. And we can substitute this right here. This is exactly what I'm talking about. We have just solved for vy naught. So we can take this equation and move it way down here and plug in vy naught right there. And that way we're going to have a t squared and a t squared. And we can isolate the time and solve for it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take this, and we're going to move it right here. And just to show you what we're doing, we're plugging in for vy naught 9.81t. That's going to give us 0 0.440 is equal to 9.81t squared minus 4.905t squared. And that's going to look something like this. We're going to bring out the t squared, and we've got a 9.81 minus 4.905. And this whole term in the parentheses is going to simplify to be positive 4.905. And by dividing the 4.905 over here, we can isolate for t squared and then take the square root. That's going to give us a value for t of 0 0.300 seconds. Boom. Now we can look at 
this equation and solve for vy naught. You see, we only need the two. We don't need the square root of 2gh or whatever that is. I don't even know it. So I'm going to take this. Boom. We're going to put it right here. And I'm going to plug in t is equal to 0 0.300. We've got VY naught is equal to 9.81 times 0 0.300. That's going to give us a value of 2.94 meters per second. There we go. Part A, done. Only needing two equations. There's part A. We know the initial velocity. Check. Now we're going to see how long it's in the air. And we can actually do this two ways. The first way is we can do, go ahead and go and do phase two and do the exact same thing that we just did where we set up a new phase that is the downfall phase and calculate the time that it's going to take to get from here down back to the bottom. But we know that because of the conservation of energy that it's going to take the same amount of time to get to the top as it is to get to the bottom. But if you don't believe me, go ahead and check it. Do phase two from here where our initial velocity is zero and our final position is zero. And you're going to get that the time that it takes to go from here to here is exactly 0.300 seconds. So instead of doing all of phase two over, I like to call this the inspection because we know it's going to take half of the time to get up there and the other half the time to go back down. So we know that the total time that the flea is in the air, the total time is going to be equal to 2 times 0 0.300, which is equal to 0 0.600 seconds. There it is. Part B, done. Thanks for watching. Um, if this was helpful, if it made sense, um, feel free to drop a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. We're just starting this channel. We're dropping a bunch of videos on January 1st. I'm super excited. Um, share it with your friends. I wish you all the best of luck in the upcoming semester or quarters or trimesters, whatever you're doing. But um, I really appreciate all the support, and I'll see you next time. Bye.